all right guys welcome back we finished this battle in the last video it was pretty intense um i'm glad i made it through and didn't have to restart that would have been really unfortunate hopefully we can continue on and save the game They're both alive. Thank goodness. You actually found Flane? Nice work. It is a shame you could not be there, Claude. I would have liked for you to witness our mortal struggle against the Death Knight. I'm gonna be honest, I forgot Claude wasn't in that battle. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, until he just walked up, I was like, oh yeah, I didn't have Claude. <laughs> At least we managed to rescue Flane and complete our mission. That's what counts, right? Right. Excellent work, everyone. Now then, let's get these limp ladies to the infirmary, shall we? No problem. I can carry them both at once. Be gentle with them, Raphael. Let us carry each one individually and slowly. You know, Teach, seeing you smile sure makes me feel better. You look happy for a change. Hmm? Do you really not know? Well, truth is, I've never seen you smile before now. At times, it made me wonder whether you were even human. But I suppose that was just my imagination running wild. Anyhow, we've probably kept Sedith waiting about as long as he can stand. Let's hurry up and tell him the great news. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yes, of course. I shall express my gratitude to the students as well. Her kidnapper was the masked knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flame's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare and extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? You think so, too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flame's safety? Heck yeah. I shall speak with the Archbishop immediately. Please, promise to look after Flame. She is all I have. I am so glad that Flame is safe. Yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy. But who is she?
Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. I have my own mission. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Don't just nod solemnly. There's nothing to worry about. I'm just being cautious. Then again, I guess you're always solemn. <laughs> Very funny, Dad. Also, I'm really curious what class Flane is. I hope she's not like just a dancer or something. Part one, white clouds, wyvern moon, field of the eagle and lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Oh yeah, I forgot I set, I set this as my birthday. You got a birthday gift from Claude, is it flowers? Oh, a letter. <laughs> oh, cool. Phew. Oh, Professor, are you training too? I was just about to finish up, but if you want to join in, I can stick around a while longer. Oh no, it's fine. Just do your thing. Don't mind me. Come on, don't be shy. Phew. I'm beat, but we're finally done. I was already training when you got here, and I finished right alongside you. Guess I outlasted you, huh? Speak for yourself. 
I'm always looking to improve. By the way, Professor, something I wanted to ask. Are you really Captain Gerald's kid? That's a pretty detached tone to take about your own family. What's your opinion of him, then? You must look up to him, at least. Hmm. It doesn't sound like you really appreciate him. You didn't even know until you came here that he used to lead the Knights of Saros, did you? If it weren't for him, you wouldn't be half the person you are now. You probably never even thought about how lucky you are. Oh, okay, this really bothers me. Listen up. I don't care if you're the teacher and I'm the student. I'm going to outshine you. I know you were some famous mercenary before you came here, but let me tell you something. I'm going to be better than you ever were. In fact, I'll surpass you in no time at all. So don't blink. You might miss it. That was a little aggressive. I don't know why you gotta be like that, Leone. Decided on the composition. That's right. The composition for my next paint. Wait, Professor? How long have you been standing there? You haven't been watching me, have you? Uh, no, I misspoke. Did I say painting? I meant to say, uh. Well, I've thought for a while that it might be nice to paint the scenery here. The contours of that tree, set against the stark shapes of the faraway peaks. Of course, I only paint after I've finished my chores. I'd never put my art before my responsibilities. My studies are paramount. I shall always uphold my duties as a student of the Officer's Academy. Whereas art is... a hobby of mine, you might say. Everyone has hobbies, right? I'm sure you have one. Oh, well, perhaps it's different for you, Professor. But it's perfectly normal for people to have hobbies. Reading, for instance, or fishing, or taking midday naps. For me, it's making art. Hobbies are healthy. They're a good way of relieving stress. You might consider taking up a hobby, Professor. Anything to clear your mind. Think about it. It's much easier to focus if you're feeling refreshed. There isn't a rule against hobbies, is there? If you tell me to stop, I'll stop. I shall never again put brush to canvas. Really? It's okay for me to paint? Well, I mean, if you're sure. But really, it's nothing more than a little diversion. A frivolous pastime. Um, I think I ought to go back to my quarters now. If it's all the same to you. Ignatius is such like a wet noodle dude. He just like <laughs> just everything he says kind of bores me. <laughs> it's finally time. The battle of the eagle and lion at Grander Field is this month. Don't tell me you forgot, Teach. You're kidding. Didn't Rhea or Sedith fill you in? Guess I have to do everything myself around here. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is one of the Academy's annual traditions. It's a huge mock battle between the three rival houses. But you know all about rivalry battles, Professor. There was one right after you got here, remember? I hear the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field, far away from Garrig Mach. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. It's a three-way battle that relies heavily on strategy. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Hey, Claude, what about Professor Manuela? Do you think she'll be able to join us despite her injuries? I'm afraid she's sitting this one out, as is Professor Hanneman. As my persistent rival will not be present, it only goes to follow that I must also sit out this year's battle. Now leave me be, Claude. Uh, 
Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. If it isn't our own Professor Manuela, all things considered, you're looking well. Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. Does that mean you really won't be joining us for the battle? Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Oh my, look at you! If you're as confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. All right, I tried to make it fair, but... Wow, this is a lot of level ups. <laughs> yeah, I've got this down. I'm beginning to understand. Oh, we got another magic. Awesome. Ragnarok. I guess I'm still growing. Healing focus, combat art. I feel like I get it now. You still haven't gotten your plus one range, man. Yeah, and I get to get her to the intermediate or to the next class. Maybe I don't actually have a sale for it now that I. No, I should. I, I don't know. I'll have to see. I think I get it. I will master this. Swordbreaker. That well sounds good. The effort. Rescue. Oh, she must be Faith. Lance and Faith magic. Oh, so it's, okay, so it's summarizing the past month, because I think I, yeah, okay. It, like, fast-forwarded a month, maybe? Yeah, because I think she went missing the beginning of the month. Okay, cool. I like that this is a chill. It's chill so far. I needed a little chill break after that last battle. That was pretty, that was pretty intense, not gonna lie. I definitely want to see if I can get Lysithia to the next class. She definitely mastered that class. That is insane. She did that so quickly. So she can go to a priest, versatile white magic class who can use both, use magic both to heal and attack. Enemies with high physical defense are no match for a mage who can bend black magic to their will. Yeah, I mean, so I'm definitely going to make her a mage. Uh, then she can be a warlock. That's cool. I'm really curious what the master class looks like. I don't think there's any downside to just advancing her now. I might as well. curious what her stat boosts look like that's as a priest ah that's so cool 100% chance of passing enemies with yeah okay I already read that so she'll get more magic HP dex and res Class abilities. She doesn't have fire actually. Allows unit to cast fire. If fire is already available, then unit can cast it twice as often. No, she doesn't have fire. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I don't I don't see a downside. I actually think it's a downside not to do it since she's mastered her current class. There's no point keeping her there. And I can always reclass her back if I kind of see a downside or something. Yes, I'm happy Lysithia is like, the, you know, so advanced. I get to see her advance ahead of all the other ones, which totally fits her personality too, because she studies all the time. That's actually really cool. It fits her ability, fits her personality. That's neat. Perfect comprehension. Huh, so that took, that was like one HP and a couple of luck. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was about. That might have just been extra bonuses. I don't know. So she's the same level. I don't know if her experience bar changed. I don't really see anything else that would have changed. She got fire. Okay, so that's a class ability, a personal ability, and equipped ability. Got it. Yeah, definitely no one else has mastered their current class. Oh, there's Flame. Yeah, I forgot I need to check her out. She's a priest. Level 11, so she's, that's good. She's not really far behind. A priest, is that what Marianne is? What is Marianne? A monk. Oh, she's a priest. So she's an intermediate class already. We don't know her age, interesting. That's a good ability, that's pretty nice. What does she have? Heal Nosferatu. Restore. Cure status effects. That's good. Moves an ally to a space near the user. One minus magic divided by four. What? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. One to f like maybe a one to four range. That's not a very large range. I'm not sure that's going to be all that helpful. She has a bunch of uses of heal though because she has a class specific one. Really high faith. She uses lances. I don't know what that's about. It's kind of weird. I could reclass her. She, she has way better magic. Yeah, I don't think that would be a good idea to reclass her. She's kind of just like another Marianne, to be honest. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about her. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Okay, let's do an, a little bit of... Um, uh, I might do inventory management off screen. Um... I definitely got a bunch of abilities. Let's actually check that out. I really need to give him a battalion, a battalion apparently. He has a lot of abilities focused around that. I don't think this is ever activated. At least not that I've seen. Shoot. Oh, I might want to put that in. Yeah, oh no, actually the bow. Nice. I forgot she had this. If unit damages foe during combat, foe suffers speed minus six. I completely forgot she had that.
That's good. I definitely want to equip that. Perfect. Dexterity plus four. So she'll be good against sword users. Hmm. Five extra heal points. Yeah, I don't know about Flane. I mean, another healer is not a bad thing, but... If I have to choose between her and Marianne, I'm gonna keep Marianne just because she has the Psyic. That ranged magic heal is just really, really useful. Let's see combat arts, because I think we got some of those too. Yeah, healing focus, what does that do? Oh wow, it costs zero durability points and he recovers 50% of his HP. That's going to be helpful. She came with a battalion. Is that the same one Lawrence has? Yeah, it looks like it. motivation they're all pretty good okay I think I'm gonna do a shorter video this time um, end it here that way in the next video I can knock out um, pretty probably all of the month you know the activities for the month so I'll go ahead and save and um, I'll see you all in the next one